people have been scammed out of, it sounds like, a lot of money uh, with this scam. And the basic mechanism of it, if I'm not mistaken, is an overcharge and then credits issued to the same debit card that was used for the overcharge. That's correct. But the credits will then obviously be greater than the the charge that was originally done. Yeah. And so and so the reason that there was not enough money on this one card is he didn't understand which card he was using, it sounds like. Not Hank. Screwed up. But but if the scam had worked well, uh what would that have looked like? How how would how would he have turned that eight hundred and ninety nine dollars into a plus on his side? Can you walk us through that? But it continued to issue credits until the card didn't work. Usually, you know, first with 899 and then let's try again. Let's do another one for 899, all under a thousand. Because that's usually when the red flag goes off. But can I ask you, why is it that um, Hank wouldn't just say, I sent you the 899, you have it. Is that when not Hank says, no, I don't have it. Do it again. That's correct because his initial phone call stated that there was a there was a problem and they weren't seeing the cards go through. Oh, so can you just do it? Wait a second, do it. Let me see. Nope, I didn't see it. Do it again. Nope, I didn't see it. Do it again. Nope, I didn't see it. See you later, sucker. Yep. Nice. Well, if you're listening to this show and you're a criminal, we are we're not telling you any of this so that you can do it to someone else. <laughs> 